All right, so we're going to start off here uh, learning our modes based off of the C major scale. Um, but we're going to do them in parallel. They're all going to be altered from the C major scale in order to give us a C Dorian, a C Lydian, a C Mixolydian. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the notes in C major, uh, which are all the natural notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, uh, no sharps or flats. And then we're going to actually move things up and down to alter it to get the different mode sounds. Um, I'm hoping this is kind of a different uh, approach that's going to make it a little bit easier for you to understand what we're doing. All right, so uh, we're going to start off with uh, C major just on the fifth string, third fret. We, uh, just to refresh your memory as to where those notes are, um, we've got C on the third fret, fifth string. We're just going to go straight up the string. C, D is the fifth fret, uh, E is the seventh fret, F is the eighth fret. G is the 10th fret, A is the 12th fret, B is the 14th fret, and then we're back to C. And that's a C major scale. You've heard this a million times. Um, in the uh, blog entry, there's going to be this sheet music with uh, tablature and chord charts and descriptions and whatnot. Um, what we're going to have is there's going to be a set where they're all in one octave, and then there's going to uh, just actually right here, so you can actually see the differences. And then there's going to be a set uh, starting on the E string, doing it in the key of E major. Uh, and uh, you'll be able just to kind of see how it works linearly. So as far as what we're doing right now, we're going to group this into the three um, major type scales. Um, major, Lydian, and Mixolydian, which is a dominant scale sound, but it also has a major third. Uh, it's, it's very close to the major scale. And then we're going to do uh, the three minor scales. Uh, and then the, the low green scale. So, but starting off with C major, all right, we had just quick refresher C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The first alteration that we can make uh, is we can make the Lydian mode, which is uh, typically it's the fourth mode of a major scale. In this case, though, all we're doing to alter our major scale to make it Lydian is we're going to raise the fourth note up a half step or one fret. So you're going to have C, D, E, and then instead of F, you're going to have F sharp, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. If I was to play um, a phrase in C major, now if I was to play the same idea, different sounds there. The next one that we're going to do, uh, we're going to take our major scale, we're going to reset the fourth to where it was at, we're going to lower the seventh a half step. So we're going to have C, D, E, F, G, A, and then B flat. Instead of playing the, the B, the seventh note here, we're going to lower it down and then C. And that's going to give us a mixolydian scale. So let me go through the scale sounds. First we've got major, then we've got Lydian, and then we've got Mixolydian. Oh, playing Lydian dominant. <laughs> All right. So that's just kind of showing you, you could take one scale, and if you alter a note up or down, you're also going to be able to start getting some of these sounds. You can mess around with them that way. Now, in order to make a C uh, major scale minor, um, then we're going to start with the Aeolian mode, which is the sixth mode. Uh, you're going to have the C, D, and then we're lowering the third. So we've got E flat, which is the sixth fret, F, and G, which are normal, and then we're going to lower the 6, which is A flat, and we're going to lower the 7, which is uh, B flat. So you can have C, uh, C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and then C. That gives you... Instead of, like, if we're doing major... Okay, we'll move on from there. All right, 
so that's the that's just your regular old minor scale, natural minor. It's called or Aeolian, which is the sixth mode um, of a major scale. Right. The next one we're going to do is we're going to take that natural minor scale and we're going to make it a Dorian mode. And the difference here, we've got root. Your second note is still natural. It's still the, the note in the major scale. We have the lowered third. The fourth is the same as the major. The fifth. So we got F and G. Uh, then we're going to have the sixth is not going to be lowered in this one. It's actually going to be the A. Uh, which is just the, the regular major sixth, and then we've got the lowered seventh. So the difference, um, if we've got our major scale, if we want to make it minor, we lower the third, sixth, and seventh notes, just down one fret. If we want to make it a Dorian scale, we lower just the third and the seventh notes. So the difference between a Dorian and a natural minor is just that the sixth is, uh, it's lowered in the natural minor, and it's not lowered in the Dorian. If I wanted to play uh, a phrase using the, the regular natural minor, now if I wanted to play something in the Dorian with uh, that raised six, right? Uh, similar, not the same phrase, but similar enough that you get the idea that they are different sounds depending on where you place that six note. All right. So then the next two phrases are, are the ones that are there or the next two scales or modes are going to be the ones that are going to be minor uh, lowered second notes. The first one is Phrygian, which is your third mode. All right, so you've got C, and then we've got the lowered second, so we've got D flat, which is the fourth fret. We've got the lowered third, which is E flat. We've got our fourth is normal, that's the F. We've got um, so the fifth is the same. All right, and then we are going to have a lowered uh, sixth and a lowered seventh. Is that right? Yeah. All right, and that's going to give us. Kind of that kind of Spanish kind of, kind of sound, All right? So that's, that's your Phrygian mode. All right, and then the last one that we're going to do on this uh, is is Locrian, which is very much like the Phrygian, except we're also we're lowering the fifth. So you're going to have your C, and then we've got the lowered second, which is the E flat, lowered third. I'm sorry, B flat, and then E flat on the third. Then your fourth is going to be F as normal, and then we've got the lowered fifth, which is on the ninth fret. That's the G flat, and then you've got your lowered um, uh, sixth, which is A flat. And your lowered seventh, uh, which is which is the B flat. So then you get this sound. So cool. Anyway, that's just one more way of of, of looking at these. Um, you've got if you go to the the website, uh, there's going to be the the address on both sides on my blog. Um, there's going to be downloadable PDFs with uh, all of this information on it. Um, we talk about uh, the, the scale construction. Um, there's, there's diagrams on it. There's tab. There's notation. Um, and there should be a little bit of text. So anyway, next week or next lesson, um, we're actually going to be deriving our pentatonics from your major and minor scales and learning how to use those in more of a, a, a rock or pop context.